folks, welcome to yet another episode of the Snowy's Camping Show, joined by Frederick and Mary. <laughs> it's a joke, we stuffed up the first intro and um, that joke probably fell flat on the second one as well, but um, Lauren and Ben, as usual, yes. the Snowy's Camping Show. Uh, and formalities first, if you haven't already done so, subscribe either via YouTube or your podcast app, because I got that wrong in the first intro, and you can jump in uh on the conversation on mm-hmm. this episode and anything you want to talk about at the Snowy's Camping Show Facebook group mm-hmm. um, where we're trying to get more people on board to just talk all things camping and outdoors and a hiking. A bit more on YouTube and stuff as well, aren't we? YouTube, yeah, mm. YouTube channel, yeah. There's a lot of people there that aren't on Facebook. So today we're getting a little bit um, in the spirit, Christmas spirit and talking about- Before we get into the episode though, yeah, can I just say – We've received our first fan mail ever right. this week. Okay, so and when I say fan mail, I mean like a legit snail mail in the post envelope yeah. with stamp. Addressed to Ben and Lauren at the Snowy's Camping. Uh, at, 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 at Keswick, at, at Keswick, 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 Keswick yeah, right? store, yeah. And it was so <laughs> cute because it was by Jack who's yep. five years old and a company with that is we'll probably, we should put the drawing up on the podcast as we'll well. Put, we'll put a photo it's up. It's a picture yeah. of uh, a Ben and I um, and our podcast table, which was so cute. Yeah. My head was your bigger than yours. Your head's way bigger than mine. Which is yeah. not an accurate depiction <laughs> of reality, obviously. You were, but I think yesterday you just said your brain's bigger. Th- my brain is bigger. Obviously. We'll go with that. Thank it makes you. you feel better. Thanks, Jack. If you're Jack. listening to this, Jack, yeah. thank you so much. It Good literally made our day. Number one fan mail. Um, only fan mail we've had so far. Only but fan mail. It's on and Lauren's, it was sort of cool. Um, it's, it's on, on my pin board next to my desk. Board, next to my yeah. desk. Right. Thanks, Jack. Anyways, Moving on. Let's oh, get into and it. just yeah, episode suggestion. Jack will um will take a look at that when we're planning for our uh next season episode. Oh, yeah. You had a few good suggestions. Yeah. So back to the episode, um, sidetracked again as usual, uh, Christmas gift guide. We thought each year we might put a bit of a list together of products that you can get from Snowy's now. Um, yeah. Might not be available next year. They might be. Who knows? But we're, we're, we're getting all sorts of different stuff in at, at Christmas time or uh, certain times of the year. Mm. And we've got some pretty cool stuff that it gives. And a lot of these things are things that I think probably wouldn't buy for myself, but like you know, if They're you, cool, if but you, you wouldn't buy them for yourself, yeah, maybe. If, if yeah, you yeah, were yeah. to buy me like a limited edition ink, I'd be pretty happy with it. But I yeah. don't need to buy one for myself. But I know what you're just saying. Just dropping a hint there. Yeah, um, I'm not buying you yeah. <laughs> a limited edition ink. Angle. Sorry, I don't need one. What's an office KK ten dollar limit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a little uh, key ring version that you. Yeah. Get. <laughs> I'll get. I'll get a free angle hat that we get from our supplier and wrap it up. Oh, thanks. <laughs> That's all right. I'd be happy with that. That's uh, the thought that counts. It is. So, they, I mean, some of these things you might buy them if it's specific to your needs, but yep. for the most part they're, they're kind of things you walk past and you look out on the shelf and you go, they're pretty cool, but look, I, I don't think I'd spend that money on myself. But if yeah. someone bought it for you, you go, that's cool. And you can use them. A lot of these things you can use camping, but also in your backyard, picnic. Of course. Just on the weekend. So, um, yeah. yeah, a bit of versatile sort of products. So um, we'll start off with – You can open – Open with oh, this, oh, yeah, because it's as everyone knows. I, I don't think has an episode ever gone by where I haven't mentioned coffee. Probably not. Surely I didn't mention coffee in the Ten Pegs episode. Um, but coffee makers, we've got quite a range of coffee yeah, makers do. now, from Aeropress and Wakako and and all the basic um, sort of coffee pots and that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, so a, a, like a portable coffee maker is a, for somebody who loves coffee is a pretty cool yeah. option. You have real coffee instead of instant coffee in the campsite. Exactly. And I think for some, even for some people, I, I p- probably would say diehard coffos or whatever you want to call Coffee. them. Coffo. Yeah. I was thinking a wino, but like a diehard coffo, coffeeo, uh, whatever. Coining that name, a coffo. Yeah. It's a bit like, it's always coined Swent and coffo now. Yeah. So times. a diehard coffo is probably always going to already have their espresso coffee maker, whatever. But then there might be other people who really love a good coffee. Yeah. But they're just not as diehard, and for the camp kit, yeah. th- they'll get instant. Even though it makes them shiver inside every time they drink it, yeah. they'll still just go with it for convenience. So they're yeah. the sort of people that you can get a coffee yeah. maker for. Okay, go wrong. Knock their socks and off. They can sit in the cupboard in between all the camping trips and yeah. just come out on the camping trip. But speaking of coffee makers, episode seventeen, we Where did that? specifically for coffee makers and things like that. So yep. if you're not sure. And you want to sort of get a bit more idea on what's available and the benefits and pros and cons or whatever. Jump back to that one. 17. Mm. Next one. Next one is muck mats, which I totally love because I have a muck mat and 
it's just so lush. So people who've never heard of it are going, toes. what is a muck map? But muck it's map, it's surely. a it's a upgraded patch of artificial turf, basically, yep. like high quality turf finished off on the edges that is really good doormat, durable doormat to take camping and caravan. Australian and caravan. made small family business. Yeah. Like brilliant. And um, we've got an interview with Mark Matt coming up as well, which I'm pretty excited about. But I um, – it's one of those things where people are like, what? Why would you get one? Like it's just a piece of artificial turf mm. or whatever. But then everyone who does have one loves them yep. and I love mine. And I do admit and confess that initially I was a bit like, what? And then I was like, no, this is happening. And then I got one and I will never, ever go back. But okay. anyway um, – so it's a good gift once again. It's you a might good walk gift because it's think, one of those things that a lot of people might look at and go, mm, I don't know, you know, like that's a bit expensive or, you know, well, I can't justify that. But it's a great gift. Even for those who go to the beach all the time, beach house and that sort of thing. Well, it's just, yeah, 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 totally. Yeah. And, I mean, I'm going to get one for my car. Like I'm just going to get heaps of them. Yeah, right, for your desk. Yeah. Oh, my God, can you imagine? I thought you were going to bite my head off then or something, saying, why do, I need, why do I need a muck mat on my desk? Can you imagine just kicking your shoes yeah. off under your desk and, like, rubbing your feet well, through fake grass? I've never rubbed my bare feet, but you say they oh feel my God. really good. Yeah, they feel so good on your feet. Okay. So flush, flush, right. lush, lush and fluffy. Anyway, right, moving on. One. Now, we, we should mention we, we did do a, a, an episode similar to this on a weird and wonderful camping gear back at episode 57, yeah. which covered just strange things. And these products featured in there. And we still got them um, in, in our range, but growlers. Uh, and like the, the, U, <laughs> the U kegs and um, yeah. like beer, beer kegs with a little tap on it basically and, and you get little nitro or little um, compressed. Little NOS yeah, bulb things. NOS bulbs that go in there and you can get it filled. I'm not sure the legalities. I don't think you can just go in and get it filled at a bar. Someone said, pointed out to me recently that you can't just fill it at a bar and then take it out because you've got to drink it at the bar. So I'm not quite sure. How I you don't know. Feel it. Anyway, the concept is that you can fill these things with cold beer. Um, some you can you can fill with carbonated beer already, and some you can go and I think you go to the brewers or you go to the brewery outlet or whatever. Or if you go to you know micro breweries and yeah. that's so trend these days, and you just can go in and order a beer. But then also there's the brewery right there. Yeah. In those situations, I'm pretty sure you can get them. So you just fill the keg and you can put the whole keg in the tap in the fridge, yeah. and you can just pour pour drinks straight. Yeah. From that. So once again, like they're not they're not a cheap. You wouldn't thing. buy it for yourself. But yeah. if you got one as a gift, you might be pretty yeah, stoked pretty cool. if you yeah. if you drink beer. And if you don't use it, it'll just look cool on the kitchen bench. I'm just imagining Kate instead of ta- Kate, Kate Rarock instead of taking her four so cans of, <laughs> of of beer in her pack, she just she's takes some massive growler. Growler strapped to the outside of her pack. Yeah, <laughs> that's where she, that's why she's going so ultra light because that's the ultimate goal, probably, so she can cut enough weight to hang a growler off the pack. <laughs> I hope she's listening to that. <laughs> anyway. So check it out. There's one for coffee as well, the yeah. Nitro Coffee. So have a look at those. They're a pretty cool gift. Um, moving on. Speaking we're trying to keep this a short episode. We're, we're not trying. doing well so far. We're not far. doing well. Speaking of um, alcohol, Explorer, is it Scorpo? Scorpro. Scor- 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 Pro. Yeah. Scor- yeah. yeah. They do an Explorer wine glass. We've had them for a while now, I think a couple of years, so they're not new by any stretch of the means, but they're – basically like an ammo box or what looks like an ammo box um, with these, is it, I don't know the name. I think, is it Rydell, Rydell or Rydell or Rydell? Rydell. Someone's going to jump someone, in and tell us yeah, how it's If said, you're someone who loves wine, you'll know what I'm talking about. Good, but these, good quality wine glasses inside. They're actual glass. They're super high quality and they like nest inside the ammo box and the lid has got like a little – Mm, what do you call it? Like a little groove that the wine cups yeah, sit in, and, and some foam in there, and it's it's designed to be so you can take. It's basically bomb proof. Yeah, two wine glasses. Well, you can't. There's a limit, but the idea is that you can transport wine, yeah. right? Our wine glasses in the back of your car or four wheel drive. If you yeah. drop it, you'll probably break it. But you can put it in the back of your car. Well, I don't know because someone there's been quite a few feedback from people online, like in reviews and Q and A sections and stuff, with people saying, "I just packed mine in my bag." on an aeroplane and the luggage handlers threw it about and my mind oh, was wow. perfectly fine and stuff like that. So, I mean, obviously we're not saying you will never break these, yeah. but they're pretty hardcore. So if you if you like to drink wine out of a proper glass, yeah. you know, stemmed wine glass, yep. then the ScorePro is a, is a ScorePro um, Explorer box, I think they just call it, yeah. is a little black box. Like you said, it looks like an ammo yep. box. It's a great option. 
Uh, jet boil, just not much more to say there. Just, not much just more to say. say. If people hike, Only because I really hikes. love mine and I would never have <laughs> bought one necessarily myself, even though I sort of coveted them for years. And then it worked here and I got a really good deal on one and I ended up doing it. And mm. it's the best thing I ever did. And it's not just for just hikers or, or people doing treks, like a day hike. If you're going to have for a day hike and you want a coffee, yep. take a jet boil. You can boil water really quickly and yep. take your portable coffee maker as well and you can yep. have coffee on the go. So I mean, just obviously really you can do thing. thermoses and stuff like that, but it's, you you know, if you, especially if you're road tripping or I don't know, it's just so good. You can just yep. boil water within minutes anywhere. Yep. Handy. Handy yep. device. Uh, this is an interesting one um, or actually quite – quite a versatile sort of gift, I suppose, for just mm. about anyone. But insulated drinkware, and we've got quite a range of them now. Dometic have got some new ones that we've just got in. Um, Stanley, and we've had on and off for years, but we've had yeah. a, I just had a look at them before, and they've got some pretty cool, like really kind of burly sort of looking mugs and things, yep. but more manly, I suppose. And Avanti, which is kind of the affordable sort of range, and we get a various we've things had those for each a while, year. We've and had they the brand for a while. go off. <clears throat> They've got like a cut with a big straw in it so you can have a, a, a double wall oh, insulated yeah, like a with a straw. A smoothie one, smoothie but also one. a little short that you have a gin if oh, you yeah. want with a straw in it. Like right. it's It's smaller. Um, they also do some silicon ones, not insulated, but silicon stemless wine glasses, which are pretty cool. So Really? And it, yeah, look, is it, look on your face. Is Ooh, it? My one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just in my mind questioning how that would work. Like, well, uh, are they silicon. squishy? Yeah, so you can squish it. So, but what if you just, what do you, you know, you're trying to drink it, seen, but it's like so folding and you know, the wine just right, comes out because your cup's collapsing in your hand. Well, you Maybe you're not as rough with things as you are. No, I'm just. <laughs> have you seen, you know, so Bronnie works upstairs. She's one of our, yeah, our yeah. Um, photo editors. Yeah, I have people. seen Bronnie. Have you seen Bronnie's, I'm um, explaining for the listeners, <laughs> some random person called Bronnie. Um, she's got a, have you seen her coffee cup? No. It's a silicon coffee cup. No. Her coffee cup, silicon. So oh, you can okay. squish it like this. So silicon. it's like that. Are you sure? But it's silicon? So, yeah. Okay. I'll go and have a look. You just want to prove me wrong. <laughs> no, I don't. I genuinely don't. Do you not believe don't. me? You no, don't but need I'm to just look, like if I've you. Th- you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, okay. it's a stem. So imagine a stemless Correct. red wine right. glass. Okay, but it's made of silicon, so okay. it sits upright. Yep, and obviously they're unbreakable. So great for camping because you yeah. can pack them in anywhere. And the the um, polycarb ones are good. They're not breakable, but they do scratch up and look a bit average after yeah. a while. But these silicon ones are just mash in anywhere. Hmm. Um, so, but back to the Dometics, they look. I mean, obviously they're not the same as Yeti because Yeti's a different brand, but they've got that sort of vibe about them. Mm. They're very robust. Um, very good quality, like you can tell high high manufacturing quality. Yep. They do a couple of different sizes. They do like an insulated, can, uh, like a cooler, so you can stick your beer in it, but it's also got a, a thing so you can stick a can in it as well. So nope, you, that I was going to mention that one. It's really cool. It's a cup, but then a cap that just yeah, holds, holds it, the can. You can use so it as a cup, but you can use it as a as a bottle or a can yeah. cooler. Like it's really versatile. So it fits a 375 can and locks it in with yeah. a bit on top. Yeah. There's another brand too that we've got at the moment and I meant to write it down, but I forgot. Um, but it's a, they're really nice looking bottles, mm. probably a little bit left field to the sort of camping realms, but yeah. they've got like tea infusers or fruit infusers and stuff in the lid as well. Oh, I haven't I seen them. I can't think of the name of the brand at the moment. Um, but have a look on our insulated cups and, and um, yeah. bottles range there. These ones have got like, quite colourful sort of patterns on the outside and they're, they're really nice. So that's um, obviously an awesome gift for just about anyone really, especially yep. during summer and that double wall insulated wine glass keeps your yeah. wine cooler for longer when you're sitting outside. It's great. Limited uh, edition angle. That's on your uh, list. That's this, one you want. Well, I've got an angle. The thing, the thing is with angle, right, I bought an angle a long time ago and I like the look of the new ones, but because I bought an angle, it's never going to stop. So I'm never going to need a new angle. Yeah. So – I'm just going to list off some of the features that I'm probably never going to get in my angle because this one's not going to break. But the and new like one. This, this one is like a, it's obviously limited edition. 60th anniversary limited edition. It's got a number on it. So you get, yep. there's only one, a certain amount. Made. And obviously it's not, you know, like a, just chuck it in on Christmas stocking for your sister-in-law sort of thing. Look, this is it's a, like, obviously it's an investment for someone who's, pretty important for you in your life. This is a big, big, it's not a cheap gift by any means. I threw this in just because if you are looking at spending a significant chunk of money on someone who's into camping and doesn't have a fridge already, Mm -hmm. 
These ones are pretty cool because it's a unique color. It's, they, they call it crystal pearl, the color. I tried to have a look at the outside one, but they're all boxed up. Um, yeah, I haven't I seen one out a, yet. I assume it's a, a nice looking color. But the the, ba- the thing I like with Engel is that the basic core of it is the same. It's the same motor, the same design, the same sort of configuration. If you look at it on the shelf, you kind of think they were the same thing. Yeah. But they've now added an app. So there's a Bluetooth app that you mm-hmm. can – control the the temperature um, manually externally um adjustable basket design a uh, basket adjust adjustable basket <laughs> divider inside a beer control button so you press one button and it goes to three degrees so your beer's perfect and a little it's arm pretty good now. actually so angle used to just be my angle is literally turn it on guess the temperature yeah uh, and turn it off again like yeah, through that's that pretty little, much like it. a zero to nine dial or that's whatever it. and it's yeah. got a temperature gauge on there that's loosely accurate yeah but this now has got all the sort of features of sort of the high-end ones but they've maintained the simplicity of it's pretty cool so i reckon uh, if someone wants a fridge and they're into a legend in reliability it'd uh, be i think that's pretty <laughs> exciting to see f- the future of angle sort of the mm. then when I say catching up to other brands, I don't necessarily mean in quality, obviously, because Engel are like the Toyota of fridges. Yeah. But it's more like those features that you're talking about that are in the limited edition of things that other brands have been doing for a while. Yeah. And it's made sort of Engel be a little bit behind the times from that sort of tech perspective. So it'd be cool to yeah. see what they've got coming. But they don't want to step away from the core of what it's all about. Of course. So it's interesting. Yeah. Uh, so next one, picnic, picnic tables. tables. This is a pretty cool. We've got a brand called Pia Sorensen in that kind of made me think, well, let's mention these because we've always had picnic tables of some and sort. And this is the new, things. this is new stuff for us. It is new. Yeah. yeah. With, uh, this year we've got it, whether we've got it again next year, I don't know, but the, yeah. the Pia Sorensen ones are really nice looking for folding low picnic tables. Like, like, like little as bamboo, you sit on the ground and they're what? Bamboo tables. 20, 30 centimeters high. They've got little um, cutouts in them to sit your wine glasses in if you want to. Um, One's they, got a removable they, thing so you can put your wine bottle in it as yeah, well. Yeah, some of them fold, um, some of them pack flat. Um, they're just sort of nifty. To, there's, I know they're doing a picnic basket or something as well that's got a little chopping board table on top. But That's the advantage he does one okay. as well. That, that's pretty yeah, cool Yeah, there's too. like a whole sort of relatively new range of picnic gear that we have yep. um, which looks pretty cool and, again, not necessarily something that – you would buy for yourself unless mm. you really wanted it, but it's a cool gift idea. Yeah, absolutely. We've always had s- s- that type of thing. Um, like, Zempire have done that steak picnic table do for ages, that, which that is, is pretty cool. I got that for my folks for Christmas last yeah. year with a couple of beach chairs and they smash it. So they've got a couple of sort of sling back beach chairs and they have their little kit pack or I don't know if it's what the table's called, the Zempire steak table. Can't remember what it's, it's called. Yeah. But it's, anyway, it's on a steak and they just jam that down in the middle. Yep. And they have all their little snacks and they yeah. put their beer in wine glass and then they're all day under the shade of the beach. So if you if you love to Best take some, ever. you know, cheeses and a little bit of a smorgasbord with some wine, wherever you go, and camping, you don't outdoors, weekend or whatever. And you don't want to have it on a picnic rug for people to kick dirt in it and stuff. Get a little um, – Get a little picnic table. There's, yes. there's also sort of the more traditional style camping ones, but these are just a little bit nicer, more of a gift, yep. I suppose. Glamping or sort of everyday use. Fancy camping. Mm. Scrub a wash bag is always for me on a gift list. For your stinky friends. Just because, well, no. <laughs> <laughs> you made yourself laugh. I didn't know that one, Dan. You didn't know I was going to say that. I put some notes down on here and I was like, what have you written down? It's on top of Lauren's notes and she's all worried about I'm the not, extra notes. I was I not down. worried. You had to read all my cheat sheets. Just because I need to know what's coming. But anyway, tra- scrub a wash track, bag, track. great. Because there are, it's one of those things that is so brilliant, but a lot of people are like, oh, it's just, it's basically it's a just dry a dry bag. bag. Like yeah. why would you bother buying one? So a lot of people necessarily wouldn't take the step to buy it themselves because mm. it's a bit like, nah, but they're brilliant. And everybody I know who has one yeah. sings the praises just Smash them, use all the time. You, you got great. You got to use it to understand why it's yeah. a bit more than just a dry bag. I used one of my big trip and where we couldn't use washing machines. I used that, yep. but just the little valve on it, so you can do the top up. Just squeeze all the air out. This and makes things so like it's easy, simple. and even and you know it takes up no space. So it's just yeah. jammed in. You know, a little gap in your camp kit. Yep. Even if you only use it a handful of times a year. It's not taking up space. It's not going to waste. It's there when you need it. Yep. So good. Yeah. 
can't go wrong. Um, and that's a really affordable gift as well. Yeah. Um, beach shells. And they and- come in, sorry, you can buy it on its own, but then you can also get it in a pack with like a little mini washing oh, yeah, line and stuff. Dry uh, towel and that sort yeah, of yeah. thing, I think, yeah. Um, beach shelters, uh, obviously for beach cars, I've gone to the beach, a beach shelter is always a good option. There's heaps on our site now, like from the really big ones, like the Event 14 yeah. is probably a good one, uh, I'll note, for the, for the beach or even a gazebo. Um, I but- wouldn't have necessarily thought about this as a present. But a couple of years ago, my friend bought me a beach shelter for Christmas mm. and it was the best. Yep. It's just so good. Yeah. We used it a bit once again on our big trip. And yeah. I, I bought one for that. And when I did use it, I went, I don't know why I haven't been using a beach shelter more often because yeah. on a really hot day, it just creates a nice, you know, UV protected space to lie in. And we I've did got do the- episode 38, <clears throat> by the way, it was um, a beach shelter yes. related episode. So um, you can also get more info about beach shelters there. So but, I've, I've got the Outdoor Connection Fiesta, which is this stretchy kind of shelter that you can set up Probably anyway. one of the most underrated beach shelters, I reckon. It's pretty versatile, easy to set up. But the other ones and light I like. And small. Well, when it packs up, it's really small. Yeah, yeah yep. Um, the Guardian was a really popular one from Caribbean. <clears throat> Excuse yeah. me, but that doesn't – I don't know what's happened. It's not on our website at the moment. Whether it comes back or not, I'm not sure. But right now you can't buy that bar. Mm. A notable replacement for the Guardian, uh, um, Ostent do uh, a couple of Malamu two and four hub shelters oh, and yeah. also Caribbean do one called the Collaroy. And the reason I personally like them is they, they're easy to pitch. They've kind of got like a hub that kind of inverts, so it pops into place and you get these sort of tight pitch walls. So yeah. when the wind picks up, it's got some rigidity around it, whereas some of the beach shelters can be a bit like the, mm. the twisty ones, the wind picks up and they, they just kind of blow flat. So For me personally, I love those ones that are like just a huge big piece of rectangular fabric with the three poles yep. that with the crossbar and it's got eyelets and you can adjust them and put your ropes out and whatever. Yep. Only because I find them to be quite versatile. They give you loads of space for what they are and what their pack size is. Yep. You can adjust it. Um, you know, as the sun moves throughout the day and as wind and all that sort of jazz and it doesn't have walls specifically. So especially if you're in a larger group of people, you want to come in and out, you're not trying to sort of jam into this small space. Yeah. But you do obviously need an upgrade to decent pegs for that for that particular style. To anchor it down, yeah. yeah. So it's like a typical A-frame shelter. And sort we've of, got yeah. Caribbean do one. Uh, at the moment, we've got a Caribbe one called the Long Reef, and there's also a few Holly and Harry. Uh, yeah, that's brand another that we've brand. Got. Yeah, um, but the, and they, uh, the Holly and Harry, oh, they all look pretty stylish, I suppose. So if you like to look the part on the beach, then yeah, those ones are a good option. Uh, so we've got recently. I've had a little tiny bit of a play with them. Uh, knife sets. They're like camping chef knife sets. They come in a like a a roll. A roll. Yeah. So yeah. there's um. Cycut and Tramontina are the two brands and they both think Tramontina come in like a heavy duty canvas AOS Mm -hmm. um, knife roll and then there's like four or five different sorts of knives and different styles and whatever and then the Cycut ones also come in their uh, canvas knife roll so they're very, very similar Mm -hmm. Um, but they're pretty handy like if you know someone who's into cooking a lot when you go camping or maybe larger groups of people or you just want a decent set of knives to chuck in your four-wheel drive or, or caravan or whatever, they're definitely worth a look. If you want to, if you want to cook like Cam. Then yeah, if you want to cook like Cam, cam right? good one. Um, because I think that – I think I would be right in saying that camp cooking generally over the last year or so has – made a comeback in more of a trendy way. Do you know what I mean? It's more marketable across socials and all that sort of jazz. Whereas before you had like the Malcolm Douglas-y sort of vibe of people doing their camp cooking and and now it's not so much like that. You have a lot more younger people into Mm. it, like Harry Fisher, for example, um, given that camping and campfire cooking a massive revival. So A bit more – Variety in food. So I think traditionally the thought is you're camping, you're cooking simply, but um, the more thought is being put into how can we bring better, nicer, um, more, I don't know if exotic is the right word to use, um, but food into the campsite and make make the actual cooking process part of the whole experience and having a good set of knives. I'm not a chef, but I I know if I have a – there's one knife at home that I like to use over all the others because it just cuts better than the others. So I'm assuming if you've got good knives um, and you're cooking meals, it's going to make it better. Speaking um, of knives, also Opinel. I did 
Oh, Penel, do you, you read my notes? Oh, do you write no, Openel down? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh sorry. Right, sorry. Yeah. Openel's a really it's an affordable but nice gift. Like they just it's like and everyone needs an any, Openel knife. Anybody who has one, an Openel but. knife or Openel or whatever, I could say Openel. I'm saying Openel now because you said Openel. But anyone who has an Openel knife, um, ha- has it for years. Yeah, like years and years. Unless you lose it, it's not gone anywhere. And, and they're so good. Oyster knives, mushroom knives. Um, you can get you bread, can bread knives. Get massive bread knives, and they also fold. So if you're limited in storage, Saws, yeah. um, you can get folding, like quite large, decent folding knives for your kitchen and stuff we, as well. We also recently uh, started with Camp Boss, and they do a really it's quite expensive though, but like a big cleaver type oh, knife, a bit like Harry had in his. Oh um, yeah, I don't know. I can't remember what brand he Osbra. had. Osbra, was it? Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, so that's a an, another option too. But yeah. that's that's like. Quite expensive for a single knife, whereas the the other kits you talk about are more affordable. And often they'll do a kit too with a little mini chopping board and a oh, that, and I a, think it's a, a picnic set. A picnic set, yeah, yeah. So that's great for hikers. Um, good segue. Good segue, yeah, into cookbooks. So mm. um, notable cookbooks that we've got: Harry Fisher, who yep. obviously we spoke about in. We didn't write the episode number down, but we had an interview with seventy one. Good. We'll see if you're right. Seventy. We'll check no, 70. episode seventy. That's okay. what I'm going with. Well, I won't hold you to that. Um, great interview with Harry and his yeah. dog. Um, He's, his cookbook's great, uh, really well presented and lots mm-hmm. of awesome recipes. Camp Boss, I haven't actually looked. Uh, Camp Boss is a new brand to us, so yeah. I haven't had, a, haven't had a chance to look at that. There's quite a few cookbooks, though, from, from Camp Boss. Is there? Like I said, I haven't looked at them, but I've just seen there's like four or five of them just recently put up on a website, so I've got to go okay. next door and have a sus. So these are great for cooking at home, but also in the campsite. Yeah. Um, oh, sorry, at the campsite, but also at home if you've got a – Back campfire in the backyard or something. Yeah. And there's also another one called Small Kitchen by Ashley Butler, which is a bit more van focused. So yeah. cooking gourmet food in, in a van on a gas stove and that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Once again, I haven't actually had a good look through all those recipes, but it looks like it's geared towards cooking in a, you know, in a fry pan or a sauce, but not a gas cooker. Yeah. Uh, and we just mentioned here another new product that we've got called the Mini Me, M E I S or Mini Me's, which is a shoulder carrying child. Carrier, I just felt like Austin <laughs> Powers there. Where he could, what was that? Bit? Austin <laughs> Powers says, "I can't think of the line where he I repeats himself and he has a moment of like repeating a word." But anyway, it's a shoulder mounted carrier. So the kid, like you carry your kids on your shoulder, carry your kids on your shoulder. But, this is but ultimately, it's like a supporter thing. So yeah. you don't have to hold on to them. You don't have to worry about them falling off. It's sort of like this mini chair that hooks over your shoulders. And admittedly, when they first arrived. I opened one up and wore it around the office like a bit of an idiot. And it was pretty comfy. Um, you didn't have a kid in it, though. I didn't have a kid in it. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I'm just saying the way that sat on your body was pretty comfy. Okay. And it packs very small and compact, like, you know, round about like a kid size backpack when it's all packed up. Yep. Um, the backpack stays on and then it sort and of sits like above Like it comes that, out it, so. above the backpack and yep. then you put it on, but the backpack can also attach. So you've got a backpack and this. Storage. Yeah. You see, if if you're watching this on YouTube, you'll see our B-roll coming up. But I'm not sure if we're describing it very well for people who are listening to this through their podcast app. It'd be ideal for basically the kids sitting on your shoulders. The kids sitting but on your shoulders. There's a whole supportive frame there, so they you don't have to. But hold it's not them on the such. sides or anything. You literally just pick them up and put them on your shoulders like you usually would. Yep. And then they're supported by this little back section on the chair, and there's yep. like some Velcro things where you can just Velcro their ankles into place so they're yep. not going to fall easily. But and that's it. And Bob's your uncle. You can just walk around. So if you're someone who likes to carry your kids on your shoulders. And you want to still have the ease of doing that, but you want it to be easier to do over an extended period of time. Mm-hmm. That's probably not the best thing if you're doing too much bush bashing because the kid's going to be <laughs> on your shoulders just copying just like branches. Just imagining a branch. <laughs> yeah, anyway. I forgot. It was no, it's just something anyway. like maybe if you're going for a big walk at the zoo or you're going for a hike or um, yeah, just. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, last minute addition that I put in as I walked out the shop today is Z- Zippo. Oh yeah. We didn't mention Zippo because Zippo is one of those things. Like I look, I'm not, a, I've never smoked in my life, but um, I look at the lighters and I think they're pretty cool, but I've never buy myself one. But if someone bought me a Zippo light, I'd be like, well, that's great for my camping. Yeah. It's a reliable lighter I've got no matter where I go. The things so. that I like about them is that they're refillable. Yep. Um, And so it's not like you're buying these cheap rubbish. Well, I say rubbish, but big lighters, you know, every, so everyone's got out. They're disposable. They're disposable. Yeah. Right. Even though they're good, they're disposable. Mm-hmm. So, 
having a Zippo that isn't disposable. And I'm pretty sure you can get them engraved and stuff like that as well. Yeah, well, it's just metal. So, so we, we haven't got a big range of colours and stuff. we just got the basics. But we do carry some other Zippo stuff too, like stri- um, little survival things and yeah. um, multi-tools. But a Zippo so. lighter might be a nice present for yeah. someone, you know, like a, even just if you like to light campfires and all that sort of jazz, yeah. yep. light your stove, anything. So that's it really for our Christmas gift guide. We do have though uh, – Something new to Snowies. We've never done it before and I don't know if we'll ever do it again. Giving it a bit of a try this year. We have given tried it a, a try little bit in the past but doing it properly this time. Aquatic gear. Water sports we'll call Water it. sports yeah. and aquatic stuff. So snorkeling gear, rashies. We've got some boogie boards. Boogie boards, goggles, it's beach like, games. Um, yeah. So like the, the little skin balls and like a soft yep. rugby that you can use for throwing in the – and soccer that you can use for, on the beach and throwing in the water. So a bit so of a range of stuff. That, keep an eye out for that over the next couple of weeks that will drop off in dribs and drabs because that's always a really great present idea, I yep. reckon. It's just water sports, especially leading into summer. At this stage we're seeing it in stores and I think it's in the process of going online at yeah, the moment. Yeah, it is. So this is probably the only time we ever talk about what's happening right now in the, in the podcast. It's kind of weird because this might not be relevant by next year but – but yeah, so in the next it. couple of weeks that will come on. And then also there's some lawn game stuff coming and camping mm. game stuff like big, um, like um, not Finsker, but games similar to Finsker or lawn bowls or yeah. um, cornhole. Have you ever played cornhole? It's so is that fun. The, is that the. It's like two sloped boards with holes in it and you've got bean bags and two I've teams never, on either end. Never played it. Oh, but that's the sort the of thing you see it like if you go to a winery for lunch and you sit outside, yeah. they've usually got cornhole and those sort of games sitting in a corner. My for brother to in law introduced our family to cornhole and it's now at every single event. Right. It's so good and I'm pretty good at it, I'm just saying. I've never played it. But there's a lot of um, sort of there's, again, we've never really done it before but we're mm-hmm. going to give it a crack just in the lead up to summer and yeah, okay. um, Christmas you, I mean, and stuff. So keep an eye out for them because they're sort of cool. A great gift ideas. because, yeah, and, yeah. you know, it's not like that. If they've got kids and you get them a game like that, then the family's going to use it at some stage for sure. every now and then. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's, I mean, we could probably sit here and talk for hours about all we the could. stuff you could buy someone, but that's the most recent stuff that we've got in summer, which I haven't even seen yet, but only seen it online and it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. Um, Things I, I'd be happy with a large portion of this list as presents. I think we've covered everything from the affordable to the unaffordable. Yeah, <laughs> and unrealistic for a colleague to buy you for an office Christmas present. Okay. It was worth a try. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, that was cool. Merry Christmas. How long, how long before Christmas is this episode going to go out? Where it will be a month and a bit before. Month, a month and a half. Yeah. Just got to get in. You know, people need to ship parcels and all that sort of jazz. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Right. Well, thanks for tuning in. Jump in on the conversation. Snowy's Facebook show. Snowy's Camping Show Facebook group. We'll be there. See you next week. See you next time. See ya. <laughs>